Hey guys, hope you're all doing well. I've got a ARG Wi-Fi extender here for Phantom 3 standard and I'm just about doing the installation of this. I've already had this installed before. I had to remove it. I'll explain at the end of the video why. Meantime, let's get straight to it. So we've got four pieces, two antennas, two square antennas and one uh, a long antenna. If I'm correct, those two antennas deal with a signal between a quadcopter and a remote, and this one deals with a video feed. And obviously, there's a piece with the cables that those three antennas connected to. So, first thing you need to do, obviously, take uh, your remote apart. So, we've got four screws at the back here. So, we'll just take all those four screws off. Okay, so that's the four screws off. Now we just need to take this apart. To be honest, it's not that difficult to install the system. We've already done once, so just take that apart. So this bottom piece will slide out from underneath there. Just be careful not to rip any cables inside. I've seen some people taking all those cables here apart. And to be honest you don't really need that. They are long enough. So you just have to be careful with them. So there's your three cables. So you've got two antennas built in here and then one external one with the three cables going into the devices here. So what you need to do is unplug those three cables there. Now normally uh, they've got uh, some kind of silicone over them so they don't get loose. I've already removed that silicone, just be cautious when you take it off not to make, not to damage any cables. So I'll just unplug all those cables. As you can see they are with a different length as well, so you can't really get it wrong when you put them back in. Um, so take that antenna off here and if we just clip that together and pull it up forward it should just come out there we are so that's the antenna out Obviously you don't need those ones. Again, I've seen some people removing those antennas. I haven't bothered before, so you can just get those cables somewhere to the side so it doesn't it's now we're on the way. And then what you do, you feed this one through. And what we'll do we'll take the bracket off first. And then you feed three cables through the hole. Now usually it's got our grooves in here, so those clips in, but it's gonna be loose because I'm not gonna put the top bracket until I put everything back together. So as you can see, it's got different lengths as well. So the gray one in that case will go first to the top. So again, just carefully push it in, try not to bend or damage the cable. I always find this longest one the worst to do. But anyway, that's the 
three cables now plugged in. Again, some some people suggest to put again silicone or a hot uh, glue on them, uh, just to to stick it so they don't don't get loose. They shouldn't really get loose unless you throw in a your controller. Um, I'm not gonna bother just now, just for the so I can show you. And basically, you put it all back together. So you slide the top here first, and you're closing it all up. Sure, you don't punch any cables. There we are. And then you screw that together as well. So we'll do we'll put the screws in here. So that's it, pretty much pretty much done. Now you just screw the antennas in the end of it. So those two black ones goes on the side. And this one goes in the middle. So as you can see it's quite big with those two new antennas. Uh, so what did happen to me is this long antenna because I was too lazy and I not always took it all apart when I was keeping in the bag I was just throwing it in the bag and what happened this thing can break off and get loose so what eventually happened the cable just snapped okay so I would suggest please take this one out those ones are not so bad they're pretty good ones yeah I would take that one out because it's so long and it will just pop off and snap um, I've already ordered uh, another one, so that hopefully come in in the next few days. But I had to put the original one back in because I had to use a drone, and without the antenna, I would probably struggle. So, so that's pretty much it. Nice and easy, job done. Obviously, you put all the four screws back in together, and that's it. Hope that helped. If you got any questions and not sure about anything, drop a comment below and I'll do all my best to help you out. Hope you liked it. Cheers.